Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we're continuing again, ongoing, with the war uh, over here. We got a few more planets occupied, I think. Another one or two. And uh, we'll keep on working on that. Um, we're still bombing the, uh, the accumulators, hoping that our allies and vassals will send their own troops to retake their own territory, but so far, nothing. Um, in the meantime, I'm training up another army of my own, mostly clones, just to get it trained up a little bit faster. And um, yeah, we got the next archaeological site done um, for the next uh, segment of the, of the enigmatic pattern. Uh, that's given us access to the next uh, sentient metal tier. And uh, so far, yeah, things are going pretty well. We are now, you know, improving, continuing to build the equatorial shipyard. 500 and some odd days remaining. I should hopefully ramp up my production capability for new warships. And, um, the first stage of the habitable sections here, 230 days out, and then we'll be able to begin the next, the next segment there. We also, um, met a new civilization down here in the Kozlowski system. The Ermazin traders, which seem to be a relatively peaceful plot. But they, uh, they exchange quasi-negative mass for various things, so we'll be probably talking to them on a regular basis. Um... They apparently have direct wormhole access to the Screeching Abyss, though there is no wormhole in the Screeching Abyss. There's no entrance here, so I can't take that back. Bit odd, but I... um, and we've got access now to Bountiful Systems, which we have, uh, you know, found our first one of those which has a ruined Yggdrasil Orchid Complex, which we'll probably be repairing here relatively soon. Hopefully we'll be able to repair it. We'll see. We'll have to, uh, well, first finish the survey, gain actual control of the system, and then we'll see what we're going to have... Uh, an opportunity to do there. So, let's go ahead and um, get things moving. Now, can we send... Yep, new cohesive star. We'll go ahead and fire the, uh, the wormhole generator up. There's our sentient metal tier. Now, from the looks of this, it only provides an engineering research modifier. I'll have to double check. A modular architectural design. Ergonomic architecture gives mass districts plus two on all of my planets. That seems interesting. Zero gravity construction simulation. Mega structure build speed. Mega structure build speed. Need to take that every time I see it. Oh, the other thing we did was we got access to um, a Thorin Rude Queen. But I think I was calling a blood queen. 
So that's interesting. Um, it's not very strong compared to everything else that we have, so we'll probably just use it for various local uh, defense. Like if we have pirates show up, that'll be perfect for knocking out a pirate fleet. So... They are assaulting our spaceport. They are assaulting our spaceport. No, no, they're not. It's probably just space amoebas all over the place. Construction complete. All right. So that starbase is done upgrading. That starbase is done. It's done upgrading. That starbase is done upgrading. All right, now, next thing we need to do is just do a quick double check. To see if troops are ready to land. Not ready there yet. I think we're probably ready to go here. All right, and what do we have over here? Oh, this is already occupied. Well, how about that? I guess we'll throw some food at that one. Alright, is there anything else in here that we can... Uh... These are habitats. Actually, you've only got three armies? Yeah. We can just land. That's proceeding. Initiating ground assault. Construction complete. All right, you are done. Well, you're done the uh, anchorage upgrades anyway. Uh, what happened with this? I thought I told you to activate. I would like you to head to a cohesive star, please. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Unlocks, component, sentient metal, hull regen. I guess we'll go for that. All right, Magellan is locked. Getting ready to be transported. All right, you're done, so you... Well, actually, you need to hit the anomalies in the system. The Clemens Station. 
it looks like this is going to need an additional trade hub. And might as well throw an anchorage on there as well. Actually. Take care of the trade hub and the anchorage first, and then upgrade. There we go. Priorities. All right, we're about to occupy this. Our warriors are victorious. Good deal. And I think we're going to send those ships to this system. Our warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. There we go. Seed of hope. You only have two defense armies. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and occupy that station. At minus eight. Construction complete. Alright. We are now in an unexplored system that has been named a Sagittarius A black hole. Interesting. Uh, Feral Syndicate. You guys are still... I think we'll continue subsidizing them. Just because. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Alright, so where's the Magellan? Over here. Alright, that's a bountiful system. You don't have any other um no, we don't. Then we don't have any other science vessels available. Not at the moment. Streamophilia, Merg Tor. Here. And her crew have made a surprising discovery on Bodnar 2A. The multi planet is home to an exotic array of extremophilic microorganisms. These bacteria live deep inside the volcanic vents that scar the planet, living in the extremely high temperatures produced there. This unprecedented find is our first known example of organic life forms flourishing on molten planets. Moreover, extremophiles on Bonar 2A are in fact responsible for the rare gas detected in this thin atmosphere. Producing these valuable compounds is a byproduct of their metabolic processes. Adds some exotic gases and some scientific research. All right, you now have no further orders. Excellent. Head back over to the Screeching Abyss and prepare to be sent to the next system. Our warriors are victorious. We can repair it. 10,000 energy credits, 1,500 food, 4,000 minerals, and 2,300 or almost 2,400 days. Uh, that's doable. That's very expensive on energy credits, but doable.
The conquest of a new world has begun. And we're establishing a colony. So we got a ways to go there. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Uh, four armies there. We should still be able to deal with that. Injury credits from jobs was five percent. Bonsai negative mass shields. All right, we'll go for that. We're going to keep on launching our... Uh Science ships. Anomaly found. Weapon trails. Faint trace of weapons, radiation, addictive of military spacecraft have been detected. Leave it be for now. I think this is where we're going to end up. As soon as this is done. There's also this system kicking around here. Class M Red Giant. There's a wormhole on that system. Oh, that's the micro wormhole that's forming now. <laughs> All right, uncharted space. Let's get it surveyed. Penrose Ringworld segment finished. A chunk of the Ringworld around AMG Singularity has been constructed with no less than two massive Ringworld habitats. This marvelous construct will be able to house our species till even after the stars themselves die off. This incredible achievement truly is a testimony to our mastery over megastructural engineering. Well, we need to get the next, wrong, wrong system the next segment built go ahead and get that going and let's go ahead and colonize it Definitely want to send humans here. Minus four. Almost there. Another couple of occupations and I think... I think we'll get there. Yeah. 
You are taking a long time to move. Our warriors are victorious. All right, is this system now fully occupied? It is now fully occupied. All right, let's send our ships. Begin bombing the next planet. Power has been restored to derelict uh, primordial pylon. Good. Beginning attack run on enemy station. Oh, that's no good. Emergency jump them out. Did not realize there was an unoccupied uh, outpost there. System survey complete. I missed it. All right, we now have this system. Go ahead and research the anomalies. I should have a construction ship. Yes. Still not making any stockpile of sentient metal. We're still upgrading the third fleet, fifth fleet, and sixth fleets. there, I guess. This is a trinary system. Twenty four fifty four. Ah, in a few more days, they'll reappear. Right. That doesn't have any armies. This has two. Only damaged military vessel bearing elaborate alien insignia circles Sagittarius A to C. The ship has suffered a heavy incendiary attack which has melted its hull, leaving no survivors on board. No weapons known to us today can produce temperatures high enough to cause such an effect. Perhaps the ship's logs may shed some light on its violent end. Examine the logs. Land armies. The 
This might be... Might be... The last occupation that we need to actually... Have. We can bring all of our ships and troops home. And prepare for whatever the next project is going to be. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Our warriors are victorious. Yep, there we are. Plus one. And this might take a minute. go. The Rotus. Can wage war protected can integrate. I'll bring them in as a disciple. The Hetman Dominion was integrated. Really? Moving to Comes Guild now recognizes their overlord. We must now decide. Dominion. Uh, we'll make them a Dominion. Jehovah Dominion must have been a vassal of the Merovandia. Their colors have changed. Or no. Did they? Oh no, but that's actually very good. That means we have vassals, well, except for the Lozabata Combine. Uh, say we we have vassals on all of our borders, but we actually don't. We have one more border that has some enemy territory connected to it. Potential enemy territory. All right. Well, all of our you can head home for upgrades. You can head home for. You can upgrade to where you are, but um, I'm going to tell you to head home anyway. Seventh Fleet, head home for some upgrades. Eighth Fleet, Ninth Fleet. Second Fleet. All right, good. And ground troops. Ground troops. You need a replacement assault army. That's fine. And for the vocal system, you guys uh, park yourselves at Epsilon Aridani. You guys park yourselves. The Garden Star? Eat a. There. They are almost done. Actually, 
How close are you to being able to get down here? 437 days. And you guys? 506 days? Alright. Yeah. Head down there. Because we're not out of the woods completely yet. That is very nice to have. We've just about occupied half the galaxy. Or have control over half the galaxy, anyway. I think our next project is going to be the Commonwealth of Shar. Thing is, they're in the middle of a robot uprising. I'll have to see what we can do about that. You may have to take an alternative method of dealing with them, at least initially. Bureau Monopoly entered into a non aggression pact with the 001 fabricators. Okay. Construction complete. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, what do we got? We got our quasi negative mass shields. Shield hit points. Next. Uh, sentient metal hull regen. Let's grab. Uh, I'll leave your lifespan. All right. I'll go ahead and end the episode here. So, very good. Just need to deal with this. Then we'll finally actually be at peace. We'll be able to kind of get a better sense of where our fleet's at and what's going on. Even get these upgrades finished. And, uh, we are negative five on Vault Emotes. I will have to do something about that. All right. Also, rare crystals are actually getting fairly low. So we'll have to do something about that as well. All right. Well, more projects to work on, but we're going to end here for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.